guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I've got a DIY for you. Yes, I'm doing two back to back tonight. Um, but this one was so easy and I just wanted to get it started. So I'm gonna show you the materials that we need and it's super exciting. I'm using the pumpkin form. This one I'm not painting, I'm leaving it black, which is handy dandy. So we need that, I hope you can see it. And this is the one that's bowed out. I purchased some of this. It's called burlap ribbon from the Dollar Tree. I got, I think three of this tan color. And then I got some orange, some pumpkin orange. And I've already cut the orange and I'll show you how I did that here in a minute. Um, scissors and a hot glue gun. And that's pretty much all you'll need for this project. Maybe a bow, some flowers, if you really want to like spruce it up, which I probably will because I did buy flowers for this. Um, but for right now, the base is just going to be this and this. And I will show you what I did. So give me a second. Now, we are going to take this burlap ribbon and unwind it and I'm just throwing it on the you know out that way you want to unwind it you could use it in full strips but I want um, smaller strips and I'll show you why in a minute you just want to find the center string which is right here and you pull it this is so easy you could use burlap itself you don't need to use just ribbon um, regular burlap whatever you want to use any ribbon you could take fabric oh you could take fabric and um rip it to give yourself this i'm trying to find my metal piece that broke here it is um but what this process does of pulling out this middle string is it gives me a straight line to cut burlap is a little difficult to to cut straight doesn't play nice but by pulling this middle string which eh, there we go how to get a better hold on it and you're gonna see these side strings pull out that's fine take them off I want mine frayed so I'm gonna pull out that side string and I actually am utilizing it on the stem of the pumpkin and I will show you that but all I'm doing right now and I've already done on the others. I'm estimating I'll need three spools of this. But I do have an extra in case I need more. And I'm dropping it on the floor. So now, if you can see where I pulled out that center piece, I've got an opening. That's where you're going to cut is along that opening. And if these is not perfect, the same size, that's okay. Again, this is farmhousey, kind of rustic looking. Um, easy peasy. There we go. So everybody's been cut. I have all of these strips. And I think what I'm going to do is start at the bottom work my way up and honestly all I'm going to do is flip my pumpkin over I want to attach this ribbon that I created at the bottom here and it's going to get attached to itself so you kind of want to be careful I'm going to try to do the glue at an angle and I'm going to glue it Hope you can see what I'm doing, but I'm gluing the frame. Do however it works for you. But you want to get this at an angle for this first row. And because it's, you know, it's an open weave, that's all. And you see how that is attached? You want to give it a second. It's going to continue to do this. But this is the one side that didn't fray so I'm gonna go ahead and fray it while that's drying there we go and what I mean by fray is I want these like edges to be you know roughish now we got that down all I'm gonna do is weave it over under over under 
And I probably will do two rows of beige. Or am I calling this beige, I guess? Brown, natural? Natural, that's better. Two rows of natural to one row of the orange, or maybe even three of the natural to one of the orange. And then, like, you're going to come over here, and we're going to cut it, not your fingers. And glue this on the wire again. And I will show you in a second what this looks like. And I like it a little taut just because you're weaving and it's a pretty open weave on this pumpkin. Let's see what it looks like on the bottom. So that's row one. Row two, we're going to do again with the same color. But we're going to go over, under, over, under. Does that make sense? And this one can go pretty straight, you know, maybe a little bit of an angle, but nothing major. And you really want to just kind of, um, you can trim the back, but you don't want a whole lot of looseness because you'll be able to see it through. So we're going to go over, under. And continue over under yeah I think two let me see how many of these rows I can get because I don't want to run out of the orange I don't I only could find one in the bright orange at the store I was at today when I decided that we were gonna do it like this I'm trying to keep the paper under it so you can see it over under and this doesn't have to be super tight you're going to get it loose just because of the nature of burlap. Um, they also sell burlap ribbon, which is wired, which would work out nicely too. Um, and I kind of want to push these together. So I am going to do three and then two. And if I run out of this burlap, I can always just get more and do different colors if I want. You could do stripes. This burlap comes in this color, a dark brown, which is kind of fun too for fall. This pumpkin-y orange, and then they have like all different pastel-y colors and whatnot. And any kind of trimming can happen at the end. So I'm going to do one more row of this, and then I'm going to fill it in, and then I'll come back and show you when I get to the top and how I'm going to cover this. Oh, I guess you can't see it. I'll come back when I get to the top and show you what I'm going to do with the stem and then how I might etch some flowers. So let me weave away and I will be right back. I've got almost all of it wrapped up. Oh, moving the flowers. Well, I guess woven with the burlap. I did end up gluing, and I'll show you right here. I just move it. I I hope you can see what I'm doing. Stick a drop of the hot glue and then attach the burlap in different spots. And that's just going to keep it from sliding around too much because this is not straight and the burlap is definitely not, um, you know, stiff enough. So that's what it looks like so far. Now we're going to do one more of the orange for sure. And then I'm going to fill this in with flowers. So I may do one more in the beige, but we'll see. So this is my attachment point. Again, I'm putting a little hot glue and then wrapping this burlap just so it sticks. And it's not burning my fingers, which is nice. So um, this one went over which means this row will go under and so forth. Just like a weave, um, you wanna make sure before you attach at the other end that all of your um, burlap is flat. I had a twist earlier. Now I'm not going to worry so much right now about the fussiness of it because 
because of the way the form is going, each one of these has to be glued down in this shape, which is also why I probably will stop the weave here and just use the flowers to fill in the top. So I have a touch of glue there. I'm gonna do a touch of glue here. And what we wanna to see too, before I say I'm done with the burlap is, um, and then I'm just shooting it up underneath there. It doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to hold the burlap. But I'm gonna dry fit the flowers if that makes sense. Like I'm gonna take them and cut them off. I'm gonna use the mums and then tuck in some of the leaves because I think this is just gonna need it. And we're gonna tuck that in there. And that there. And this is just helping it. And I, then I'm gonna fill the top of flowers. So I'm gonna come over here. Let me see if you can see it better in this direction. And I'm just, again, gonna say, okay, well, I'm gonna fold it over a little bit. And as we've mentioned before, burlap doesn't cut real well. So you wanna give yourself a little play. And then I'm gonna go over the end and attach it and it will hold. Now I do have more of this burlap if I want to fill in the top, but for this right now, what we're going to do and I'm hoping that I have enough of these, the string. These are just the little pieces that um, were pulled off. But what I want to do is attach it and see if I have enough. Yeah, I think I do to wrap it all the way up. So we're gonna start on the back. This knot is going to get tied and, and glued. We really want this to be firm in the back. So I tied it and I just gave it a dot of glue. Now what I'm gonna do is do a couple rows, but you see how because of the shape it slides right up? We are gonna use some glue in the base here until it stops sliding. So it'll take a minute Everything has to dry when you're dealing with hot glue, as you know. Um, but it's okay. I mean, this is a little bit of time, but that's it. This project probably cost, let's say I used three of the burlap. So that's $3. The frame was a dollar. And then whatever flowers you want to use. And these were all a dollar as well. So this is way less than $10 in a project that I think is going to turn out so cute and so um, rustic, farmhouse, however you want to call it, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to twitch, switch over here. I hope you're seeing. It's just hard to get a good angle and I'm losing the light. But I'm just wrapping it around and giving it some glue in the back side just to hold it the twine in place. Um, mostly because if I don't, it's just going to all slide to the top. Now you could use bigger rope. You could use a whole piece of burlap to do this portion. Um, I just didn't want to waste this string and I kind of like the multiple color with the orange and the beige. And then when we get to the end, and this is just, I'm just doing it pretty taut. It's just giving me a stem that's going to match, coordinate, match, however you wanna call it, with the burlap at the bottom. And what I love about these is you know, I don't feel bad if I only use this for one season. You know what I mean? Like, I probably will use this one for more than one. But if I were to only do for one season, I would be okay with that too. All right. Now, this is where it's going to get a little tricky because I do want to cover up the whole of the top that's black. So I'm just going to... We're going to go this direction. I'm just gonna lay it on top of the glue. 
and keep wrapping up. Oops, I'm sorry, you're not seeing what I'm doing here. Here we go. So I have it up top here. And then we're going to do one more row of glue at the very tippity top. And then I'm going to take this and attach it straight across the top. Nothing fancy, but just enough to cover. And then I will glue the rest of this on the back just to secure it. These strings so they don't show on the front side. And it's also going to sure up the back. That makes sense. Like it's gonna keep this twine from sliding if something should happen to the glue. There we go. Touched it. And then we're gonna put you here. Now do you see that? Oh, how cute is that? So the last thing we have to do, and I do have some snips is decide if we have enough of the mums to fill in all of this. Um, but what I can do, and I think I'm gonna do, is just go around right here, maybe. Because I don't know that I have enough flowers, but let's see. Let's get everything down here. I'm not going to cut them super short because I can use the stem. Oops. I can use the stem to hold it on to and give it a, a place to glue it. So let's just see. I have two of these picks of the um, mums, which we can also use some of the greenery. Um, I'm going to pull it all off and then I reattach it. The smart thing to do would have been to push the greenery up, but I did want some of this color. I wasn't sure, but now I think I do. All right. I think we'll be okay. So if we do one here, Oop. let me give a better angle. There we go. So what we're trying to do is fill in and to see if I have enough of these, which we're going to say we do. Even if it's a little of the black is showing through, I think that's okay, but I'm going to lay them in here for now Oops. and then because we, we also have the green, the full, um, leaves over there. We don't need all of this green, but I think it's pretty. This one is broken, but I think we'll be okay. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And then we have all these. So what I should have done is push these green stems up. and then cut them off. There we go. And the good thing too is I can kind of attach these together. Again, good snips are important. Oh yeah, this is gonna be perfect. So we can glue all of this in here and then add some greenery to it. Perfect. So let me flip it over. I'm going to start gluing and I'll show you once I've got it flipped over. All right, guys, here is my pumpkin that I did with the pumpkin form. Now I'm not quite ready to decorate for fall yet, but I did want to put it up and show you. I love it. I hope you love it too. There we go. There's all the flowers and my burlap. It's so rustic with a little touch of orange, but mostly like creams and beiges, which is what I'm probably gonna go with this year with Buffalo Check. <laughs> but this room is gonna be like more beiges and creams, this setup. And this is the top of my pantry that I keep groceries in. 
So here we go. I'm super excited and I hope you enjoyed this and it gives you some ideas on what to do with this pumpkin form and I do have some more coming. Enjoy!